everyone, it's Lori again, um, just popping in to let you know that we have finally accepted an offer on our house and have had the home inspection done, passed with flying colors, and we also had the uh, home appraisal done and again, passed with flying colors. So everything's moving through quickly. Um, we will be closing on the house either on October 1st or 2nd. We had two offers on the house. I can't remember which day, um, which one was going to close on either the FHA or the VA. We, um, so whichever day, anyways, we're closing either the 1st or the 2nd of October. October 1st happens to be my dad's and my son's birthday. Um, unfortunately my dad is no longer with us, but my son still is. So anyways, um, very excited. Things are going to start happening very quickly now, moving right along. Um, yeah, got a lot of things that we <laughs> want to get for the trailer, Freya. Um, we need a lot of things. No, yeah. I say need. Half of them we need, half of them we want for comfort. So it's about 50 50. Uh, we are waiting until we actually close on the house to buy most of it which we will already be living in uh, Freya by then for two weeks. And actually we'll be staying in a hotel too for two weeks. Um, being put up by Norm's employer, Chris. Is my shirt really that low? Sorry guys. Um, his boss, Chris, has offered to put us up in a suite for the month of October due to the fact that uh, most of the campgrounds close October 15th here in uh, New York State. So we wouldn't even have a place to stay, to park our trailer and stay during that time. Let's see what else. So that was really nice of them, really considerate of them. And uh, yeah, to be paying Norm until December 31st, if he stays until October 31st, that's even better. <laughs> yeah, so that's why we're staying until Halloween. That's Norm's last day of work. That's his retirement day, Halloween 2019. And then we will be hitting the road November 1st, 2019, and starting our full-time journey of being nomads living in our trailer, traveling this wonderful country of America, and uh, seeing all these wonderful places that we've not seen in my 54 years, and his, I won't tell you, 67 years. So we both, uh, I think, are going to really enjoy getting out there and seeing this country, <clears throat> excuse me, this country, and uh, I know I'm super excited for this journey. Yeah, I really need it need to get away, need to see these relaxing, beautiful, energizing, renewing places. And we're looking forward to meeting quite a few new people out there. Some are people that I've been watching on YouTube. I hope to meet a lot of you, like the RV Odd Squad, John and Mercedes, um, or yeah, the RV Odd couple, sorry, <laughs> guys, um, John and Mercedes. Um, also would love to meet... Uh, Phil and Stacy of You, Me, and the RV. And, of course, Robin from Creativity RV. And I'm sure, oh, Eric Jacobs from Nomadic Fanatic. <laughs> Just watched his rant yesterday on the uh, city of Lacey, Washington. I'm, we need more people like him out there. We really need more people like him. And Alan Warren, the uh, RV wingman. To get out there and say it like it is and maybe these crazy things that happen in our world will stop i doubt it but maybe they'll go back to normal slow down a bit and there'll be some semblance of morals back in this country i know we seem to have lost them I'm not sure if you can hear the bird outside but i'm pretty sure that's a woodpecker anyways we live in a really awesome place we live right on the edge of a, oh yeah, that was, it was a um, 
flicker woodpecker just saw it flitting by um, right on the edge of the Hamlin Marsh in central New York there goes a snowy woodpecker um, and we have all kinds of wildlife out here if I can I'll try to turn around and let you take a look out my window don't mind my house anyways it might be too much glare let's see there's the marsh out there yeah we got a really tall pine tree there you go try to hold it still for you so you don't get dizzy anyways we got a great view out our window yep love living here um, we get to see all kinds of animals here. We get to see deer and um, ducks that grow up from being babies into full-blown adults. We get to see great blue herons out here. Oh, green herons. We used to, when we first moved in for the first nine years, we had muskrats that were out there all the time. And just this year, they've disappeared. We haven't seen them since spring. Don't know what's going on. It may have just been too much water. It was a very, very wet spring. Had a lot of water in that marsh this year. Um, <clears throat> anyways, there's tons of animals. We, we've seen minks, mink, M-I-N-K. We had a fisher come through one day, scared the heck out of me because I don't know if you can tell or not, but my backyard is very short to that marsh. It is very short. I'm going to try to show you again. So like from here, which is the edge of my house, to the pine tree, maybe a hundred feet. So that fisher came through over there where the pool was, came up to the edge of my yard, and I was standing down here um, by the hostas. So yeah, that was a little nerve-wracking, huge thing. And I heard here that they're not very nice either. Okay, what else have we had out there that I think is really care? cool? show you some shots. We had a couple of deer, young deer come through here. Um, we've had raccoons. Just the other day a mama raccoon came through with three mid-sized babies. They were absolutely adorable and Norm and I both got really excited and scared them by accident. So they went away into the marsh. Um, I'm sure there's... oh um, yeah, we have turtles that come up out into the yard and go up to the front and cross the street and lay their eggs and then make their way back down into the marsh. Yeah, in the spring, you can see them all out there on the logs, just filling every log with the turtles just lined up on there. That's really cool. Um, I'm sure there's a bunch more animals that I forgot to tell you. Oh, we do have a pileated woodpecker, we're pretty sure. It's huge. Actually, we think we have a few of them now. Three or two or two or four of them. It's hard to count. Anyways, we had some really cool birds come through. Told you about the raccoons. Um, I have never seen an opossum here. Of course, I'm not outside very late at night, so yeah, we probably could have them, and I just wouldn't know it. Um, let's see. So, I am going to miss living here. We have uh, 